Hi and welcome back. In this today's lesson, we are going to see about future tense. For the future tense, you should know the three things. First thing, you should know the subject. Secondly, you should know root verb. And third thing, you should know future tense ending. Like in the present tense ending, future tense also it's its own ending have its own ending like how you will say present tense am are is are are is or all these things in the similar way future tense we will use will right but in hindi you cannot use will for all of the subject you should use uh, depending upon the person first person second person like that depending on that you should use in other case every subject has its own special ending in future tense that we will see first of all i i in hindi we will call as my we hum you when subjecting to you the second person you in hindi we will use three words if you don't want to give any respect you have to use tu tu if you are using you are not at all giving any respect tum it is a equal age so you are giving a little respect aap it is a plural and very respectful wah wah means he she or it it is very far wah yah he is very near or she is very near it is very near we means a far they ye means very near to you so the future tense ending for my is unga unga if it is a female ungi ungi unga ungi hum yenge yengi yenge yengi yu yega yegi yega yegi tum hoge hogi hoge hogi aap yenge yengi vah yega yegi yah yega yegi ve yenge yengi ye yenge yengi it is uh, not depend upon the subject okay i mean what i'm saying is the spelling ye ga ye ya ye yenge okay first of all am or is i am reading is literally in english you means always comes are but in hindi whenever you are using tu means you are giving very little respect no respect at all so i used is okay so here respect is there here respect is there it is also a singular but you are giving respect special case is this thing even though a single person is there you are giving a little respect equal age so see all the odd things so all these things are odd and all these things are equal yenge yengi so you have to read this thing and for ease also for ease If you see is also 
here and here is same only for my or tum the difference will be there unga ungi oge oge so split like this and practice like this so you can uh, i will read go back to the lesson number 6 for read pad pad is there you can use pad my pad subject verb ending so if you are a girl ungi if you are a boy then unga my padunga my padungi that's it i will read i will come my aunga anything you can add if you have any doubt repeat it and again practice it on the paper till you get okay have a nice day if you have any queries suggestions doubts please don't hesitate to contact me in the comment section or my mail id have a nice day bye